this video, I want to bring to your attention Mark Tilbrook. Mr. Tilbrook is a skeptic. He is like myself, and he is bringing awareness to the public about the vultures whom are um, hustling the bereaved. And that is Sally Morgan, Teresa Caputo, John Edward, James Van Prague. They're hustlers, ladies and gentlemen. All of them are hustlers. Well, apparently Mark, who has big balls, by the way, and apparently he was outside one of Sally Morgan's venues at a major theater over across the pond. And he was threatened by John Morgan, who is Sally's husband. Mr. Morgan did not apparently take his daily dose of Xanax. And not only did he threaten Mark, but he said he's going to have him disappear. One day you're going to be lifted and you'll disappear somewhere. What does lifted mean? Arrested. I mean, you can't arrest me for anything, so. Mark writes, early -er this year, I found myself standing outside a major theater on the receiving end of a tirade of abuse from John Morgan, the husband and manager of TV psychic Sally Morgan. John threatened me with violence, told me that I would be lifted and disappear. One day you're going to be lifted and you'll disappear somewhere. He told me he even knew where I worked. But you're a fat and I'm losing my temper because I'm going to snuck you out sooner or later. Well, so fuck off before I do you. All right? Well, that's just, just go. Let's go. Do you like him doing this? Yeah, because you're intimidating. I'm not intimidating. In fact, you're a cook as well. You know all about your life. What do you know about my life? What I had done to deserve this fate, I had merely tried to encourage people to think about whether psychics really can speak to the dead. And he continues on to write, Personally, I am doubtful about some of the claims that psychics and mediums make, like myself, and I have never seen any reliable evidence that anyone can contact the deceased, he writes. Clearly, others do not share my view because audiences are still flocking to see big name mediums. That includes Teresa Caputo. Some looking for entertainment and others in the hope of reconnecting with a lost loved one. And he writes quickly, I'll finish here. With this in mind, I designed a simple leaflet pointing out the clues that might distinguish between someone with supernatural powers and someone who just appears to have them. Does the stage psychic make entirely correct statements about the dead or is it a series of hits and misses? Does the stage psychic pass on accurate messages that are specific and extraordinary? And we know that they don't. But to the vulnerable, they appear to be. Or are they very general and likely, likely to apply to many in the audience? John, you are a bully. Mark, kudos to you, bro. Everyone watch this video, a clip. So I'm going to rip you in a minute. I'm going to knock you out. Okay, I don't want to do it. 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 So I'm going to knock you out. This is your last warning. I'm going to knock you out. So why come to Sally's? Go to the ones that are Because people can make up their own minds. Go to Yeah, they can. And they're not interested. It's also quite likely. If they come to this one, they'll come to the other ones. Do you not think they've made up their own mind because they're coming to see the show? Some people may have, some people may not. I'm not here to change anyone's mind. You think you're being all open mind. You're the most narrow minded person. I'd like to pick you up and put you in the bin. I'm not, I'm not here to try and change anyone's mind, I'm not, so, honestly. You're, you're, now you're one of these people, is it, who, who is it you're sleeping, Colin, is it, um, in your sleeping with, or is it, Paul Zennon, Paul Zennon, Paul Zennon, he's now, yeah, I'm not going to Paul Zennon, I don't know Paul Zennon, uh, well, I'm not, who's the other guy, who's the other one, 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 I've never met I think I follow him. Because there's little <laughs> and they're, they're all trying their best to try and prove that Sally's a fool. Not one of them's done it in the last three years. Well, that's what they're doing. Then they're nothing to him. He's got more money than you had, and he shit his pants when well, he sent him a letter, legal letter. That's what they're doing. That's nothing to do with me. Oh, well, I thought I was a shit. You're asking me not to. You know, Are you on drugs or someone shaped you too much? One of your boyfriends been up your arse. What do you think I'm gay? You are gay. You checked her out. 
I know your whole life, mate. Who you work for? I'm very. I want to know if that was printed by your company because you're in serious trouble. According to our QC, that's libel. Remember, you're not a QC. No. You're not a barrister. No, I'm not. You think you're so being clever? You think you're being clever? clever than me and you. No, exactly. No, what they well, but it won't do. You haven't got a penny, otherwise we'd have you now. Go to a sceptic meeting, they'll, they'll gladly take them, they'll lap that up, they'll lap you up as well, they'll love you, they'll think you're they'll fantastic. Go. Anyone who's come here and go for minded, they'll put you in the back. Oh, okay. I, I, wouldn't go, go. I wouldn't go and see somebody, I wouldn't go and, go and see somebody else, it's not my cup of tea. What is your point? You haven't given your point. You haven't given your point. You haven't your point. You haven't given 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 your point. I hear. I've given you the names, and it's by one of them. Or that, or I that, don't know about the other one from, uh, in Liverpool, the, the, the scientist. No, they couldn't. No, they couldn't. We're not allowed to There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Kudos to Mark Tilbrook. Mark, get Sally Morgan. She's a scum, just as is Teresa Caputo. They are hustling the bereaved. Everyone, thank you for watching SciFake.com and my videos, visiting SciFake, etc., etc. Thank you.